Hello, I'm Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds. Today, I am going to teach you how to make your own diamond art picture on canvas. I went to the bin store and I found some pictures and this came with six. I've already done one. That's this one. And today I'm going to do this one. I'm no good with identifying flowers. Whoops. I'm no good with identifying flowers. So it's a flower. So what you will need, you ask, you will need a picture. You will need Diamond Dots Sandwich Adhesive, which is double-sided glue, or Diamond Dots Guard, which is poured glue. We're going to do half, excuse me, we're going to do this half with poured glue, this half with double-sided glue. So you will need the picture, the double-sided, it comes into a roll and you roll out as much as you want and you cut it, which I have here, I cut it to the size I want. And then what I, the way I store it is I save a plastic bag from another canvas. Obviously it was Parrot Portrait. I put it in there and then I put it in this box. And I taped the label to the front so that I know what's actually in this box. And I keep it with my supply um, box so I know it's not really a diamond painting. It's a supply to make a diamond painting. So that's how I stored that. You will need a brush. Obviously you'll need scissors. And this plastic that goes on top of your canvas to protect the glue, the adhesive, you'll need this. You can buy these by the roll. Um, Joanne sells them. Don't know if they still have them though. They had a bunch on clearance. But I just use the ones that come with the canvases already, the diamond dots. I was working on Horn of Plenty and this top part I have already completed. So this wasn't sticking to anything. So I just cut it off and I've been kept keeping it the correct direction of which it goes on to the picture. Because if you put it on wrong, you're not going to get it off. So you could probably, you, you, can, you can use um, release papers as well. I haven't tried the release papers on diamond dots or the double sided glue, but if you do, try it in an area, small area, small part, see if you can get it off. So I am going to Cut this in half because I really just want to protect. I'm really just going to do the flower for the glue, for the uh, poured glue. So I don't need that big of a piece. Okay, that's going to protect that. And then the bottom will protect the flower part so I can cut more of that off. So, got that the right direction. And you will also need drills, leftover drills, new drills. I have a bunch of drills. Um, Joanne's had a huge sale on drills. They were like 60 cents each. So I picked up a whole bunch. I picked up uh, glow in the dark. I picked up uh, ABs and just colors that I found appealing because obviously it's going to be for me. And I also have 
leftover drills from canvases. And I keep diamond dots drills together and diamond art club drills together because their shades can be a little different. All right, so let's get started with this. Okay, first I'm going to put the poured glue, um, yeah, the poured glue because it takes a little longer to dry. I might have to do this in two videos, but maybe not. So you're just going to put a little bit, just a little bit in there. No water. I know it looks like there's water, but there isn't. And I'm going to going to paint my flower because that's all I really want to do. And you want to paint the whole flower. It's okay if you go a little bit over because as we know, um, even the best quality canvases have glue that runs over. So I'm even going to do this leaf. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but we'll work it. We'll work it. So I'm done with the, let me go a little on the outside in case I want to put a border. I might want to put a border of diamonds. Maybe I'll put ABs on the outside, make it look pretty. Okay, I'm going to put that in the cup because I'm done with that. I'm going to cover this, move that out of the way. Now I'm not going to put anything on top of that yet because it's really wet. So I'm going to let that dry. So now we're going to work on this part. So... I think what I'm going to do, guys, is to make it half, I'm going to actually paint that leaf. I know I said no water, so we'll see what, how it goes. So that... All right. Don't need a lot. Because if you put a whole lot, when you put your diamonds on there, they're going to really stick and you're not going to be able to move them. So, but I might need to do two coats. We'll see how this goes. All right, so now I'm going to cut my double-sided glue. I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to need to cut here. And then here, because the more of this you put on there, the more you're going to have to diamond paint. And for the sake of time, I'm not, I'm trying to get the picture only. just so I can show you. I'm not, not trying to get the whole, I was trying to get the leaf, but it wasn't working out that way. So, okay. 
because the less I have, the less I have to worry about diamond painting. Smidge more off the top. Okay. All right, now you put the white side. This is the white side that goes to the canvas. I'm going to peel that off first. Okay. If you can separate it. Come on, Neil. Work with me here. Okay. So this is the white. See the white's coming off? So we're going to put it right here. And when you're ready to paint, this is ready to go now. This bottom part is ready. Because when we're ready to paint, see that sticky? You peel that up a little at a time, and then you start your painting. So what I have found is you work in the middle out because you don't have guide circles or anything like that so you want to make sure they're all going to fit so you work in to the out so let me get some diamonds and i'll show you i might not be able to do the poured glue one yet but we'll see i've got my tray Got my pen, tweezers, if I need them. I don't know what I'm going to need, but I wanted to make sure I had everything. And this is a stem. I'm going to go with a brown if I have one. I do. I have two shades of brown, so we'll start with that. So I'm going to start with the middle. Now you, you gotta, you gotta kind of do it with two hands. You'll see. Well, that's kind of a green, but that's okay. We're we're just kind of going with it. Just it's for demonstration purposes. Okay. So I want to make sure you can feel the sticky and you're going to take your diamond, put it on, take your diamond, put it on and you're going to go all the way down like you would a normal diamond painting because now this is a normal diamond painting. Same double, it almost didn't move. So you got to make sure. You're ready to go here. This is what I use my leftover drills for. I'm really interested in keeping the rose. I'm going to eventually cut that rose out and keep it, but I just wanted to show you how this is done. I did my first flower, this one, for fabulous flowers with um, diamonds by Tita. And every, I had a lot of positive comments. So I had people want to know how I did it. <clears throat> and all I did was show pictures. So 
I figured I need to do a video. So here we are. Okay, let me get this last one. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we go. I'm going to go up the vine, the stem. with a different color. I think it's the different color. I shouldn't have taken them both out because I can't tell now if I use the same color or a different color. But I'm going to use this one. Hopefully it's different. I like to use different colors. And I lost him. There he is. And then you're going to go up. See, if you start in and go that way, you're not going to know if you're going to be able to fit. So this way, you know, they'll fit. And I think I picked the same color. Now they're a little different. So I'm going to put a little shading variation because it's usually darker on the plant and it gets lighter as it goes up. I think I'm not a plant person. I'm just using my imagination, guys. Okay. Let's uh, get these. Come on. Thank you. So I like to leave my colors out so that I know what I've used on the picture. And now we're going to go with green. But I'm also going to go with some ABs just on the perimeter of the flower. And I have found... My putty does not pull the topping off of the ABs. So I'm just going to go around the outside in different areas of the flower. And then I'll wait to do the tips. I want to, because I'm not really sure where I'm going to wind up. See, I'm going to show you. Well, this is actually going to work because I can fit it in there. But now there's a gap, so that's what I, that's what I'm saying. You have to do it from the out the inside in, because you wouldn't be able to fit a drill in there. You'd have to move them. So. That's those. Now I'm going to get some regular green. Where are you? There you are. And I'm tapping them in case there's some on the lid, which does happen. I found these in the bin store too, and I had like, I guess there was, I don't know, I've got probably 50 to 75 of these that came in there. So, green, we're going to go with green. Now you see how they're getting tight? I don't know if you can see that. Let me, uh, they're getting tight because I kind of started on the outside, but I wanted to show, show you that. That's why you got to start in one section and just move out. But it's not bad. 
You can also color your picture first and then you'll have, instead of having white, you'll actually have whatever color you made it. I went up too high. So let's see if I can get this one down here. Oh, goody, there was enough room. I placed it too high. But you really got to make them close. So you see my flowers come into life now. But you could color it first. And I can also fish right out of here. And then once I'm done with this leaf, we'll check the top. And I'll do a little of the rose for you. Beautiful. It's really not that hard. Just have a little bit of a creative mind. Or like I said, I could have colored this first and then I would know what color diamonds to place. But uh, I'm just going all willy-nilly here and seeing how it goes. And what I learned with this one, because I went the wrong way, I went, I started from the bottom up and then the top. I really had no rhyme or reason on how I was doing it. And I had a hard time getting some of, some of these diamonds in there. And some of them were really squished and didn't fit right. So if you go inside out, as you can see, they're placing much better. And it doesn't have to be green. I mean, it's, it's your flower. You can make it any, uh, the leaves don't have to be green. You can make them any color you want. So yeah, I'm just going fishing out of this container and I think I'm going to have plenty of green, this green anyway. I'm not worried about using them all because I'm working on another project of Diamond Dots and they'll prob there's probably green in that one, the corn of har uh, Horn of Harvest. I'm sure there is green somewhere, but there's oranges and browns, and uh, we'll just go from there. And as you can see, I probably have green in here somewhere. Yeah, lots of greens. So, lots of green. I have a really dark green, which is close to that one. So... I'm not too worried. Okay. 
Come on. Let's see. Ah, I have to put more on. I waited too long, guys. It's so I'm in my studio, which is my garage. So it's, and I live in Florida, so it's hot out here. So I shouldn't have uh, waited that long. So let me uh, hurry up with this one and get started on my flower. One more for the leaf. Oh, not going to work. We're out of glue. So there's my leaf. All right. So now we're going to start on the flower. Yeah, it's good. So let us start with some. We're going to do red. Well, the middle, I think I'm going to do a dark color for the middle. So Okay. And I think I'm going to put can't find it right now. Oh, well, we're just going to do this because I want to get this. My pen. All right, we're going to do this. Didn't pick it up. Yeah, it did. Come on. So this one has got a little bit of a background. Now they're moving too easy. You see that, guys? This is not working. Once it's dry, though, they won't, they won't go anywhere. I may have to do another video with a different adhesive, but I really think it's my the heat in this garage. My hand is sweating too. Kind of sticky there. It's got a good stick there.
and I have used this before on a canvas that no longer had stick on it and I put it on and it worked fine so I was in the house though so I think a lot of this has to do with the heat in my garage change the color and now this isn't sticky anymore I'm gonna go get another adhesive I'll be right back okay so this is multi-purpose diamond painting sealer but I've used this also, and it, it's worked good. I've made, <clears throat> I've used it, but I'm not sure if it's going to work, guys. The double-sided is working great, and I also sealed this when it was done. Feels sticky, but it's too wet right now. So I'm gonna try anyway. Why not, right? We're gonna try it anyway. but I'm gonna place them lightly because I know they'll stick. Let's see. I know, I know guys, they're moving, but it's okay. This is going to be a surprise for me and for you. We're going to see how this works. I don't know why this diamond won't stay there. It's got sticky. Maybe it's got too much sticky. So what I've learned is you're probably better off if you're making it yourself to um, do double-sided ad adhesive. Oh, hold on a minute.
my dog saw a squirrel, and if I didn't let him out, he'd probably rip my back door down. So he needed to go out there. I have a bird feeder on the window. See, this is sticky. It's good. But what I was saying, if you're going to do this and make them yourself, until it gets perfected, I'll put up another video. I'll play around with it and see what I've done wrong. And I think you get the idea. So... See, it is sticky, but it's, it's wet. I think I'm going to let that. I'll figure out what I did wrong. I mean, you can still see that it's wet. See that? And it's got stick, but I'm not really happy with what it's doing, which is nothing. <laughs> you have any suggestions? Put them down below. Like I said, I've done this before and I'm missing a step somewhere and I'll get back with you on that. But for right now, the double-sided is doing just fine. So, I am going to finish my leaf. I can find the green. Here's a green. That's not going to be enough. So I'm just going to finish this green. Whoop, let me put this red away. camera we are so my dog thinks he's a a hound beagle walking coon hound with the beagle he's got the beagle mouth uh, beagle sound and he runs like a greyhound he's got the build of a greyhound um, but uh, he thinks He's a hunting dog, but he's, he's really not, really not, guys. He thinks he is. So I am going to put, uh, I'm just going to keep going with the green. So when he saw that squirrel out there, he went crazy because they try to climb up my door to get to the feeder. But my dog never lets him get that far because he runs to the door and uh, scares him away. And the birds are not scared of him. It's kind of funny, especially the morning, morning doves. They are not scared of him at all. So, all right, I think this video is long enough. You get the idea. So I'm going to finish my leaf. But I think you guys get the point. And I also need more. 
glue in my pen. And I don't want to leave you alone again. Hey, I made a rhyme. But for some reason, when you drag it around the tray, <clears throat> it works. I need <clears throat> I got everything I needed but the putty and the wax. And this is actually the first time I'm refilling it <clears throat> in a while. <coughs> that putty lasts a long time. Yeah, we're not going to have enough diamonds to finish with this green, but that's okay. Because this was just to show you how to do it. Yeah, it's drying completely and I don't understand. But those are good. They're not moving. Well, a little bit, but not like they were before. So, like I said, I'll keep playing with it. And I'll figure out what I did. But because I have all this extra sticky, I need to put diamonds there or cut it. I can cut it out. So, but that's, that's how you do it. You know, this is a long video. I'm sorry, guys. But now I'm going to change the green to finish the leaf. Yeah, I need more putty. Yeah, it's like concrete, this poured glue. So if you've made it this far in the video, put an emoji of a flower in the comments and let me know if you want to see me try this again with the poured glue. Um, and I definitely will. I See, this is all dried. So, some of it's wet, but yeah, I should have, should have, would have, could have. So, again, if you've made it this far, put an emoji, let me know that you actually sat through this. All right, I'm calling, well, one more. I need one more. Come on, one more. Come on, pen. All right, I'm calling that part done. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, put an emoji of a flower at the end. Thank you. Come back again and see me. Bye.